It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Marie. I'd like to welcome you once again to another episode of The Drugless Doctor. Did you wake up with a headache this morning? Did you go to bed with a headache? Do you have a headache most of the time? Are you tired of taking pills and potions and praying that the headaches will go away? Do you have a headache so bad that you throw up? Does bright light bother your eyes? Are you just confounded about what to do? Well, here's the good news. We are going to give you some reasons and some strategies to help manage and, in fact, help your headaches go away. One thought before I turn this over to Dr. Anthony. There are prescription medications that are designed to take away a headache, but they have what we call a rebound phenomenal with the collateral damage, which is headaches. You say, what did you say, Dr. Bob? That's exactly right. There are some drugs that you take to relieve a headache that actually cause your headache. It's like, hello, what planet are we on, Dr. Anthony? Uh, an interesting one. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about this and how our body works, especially when it comes to headaches. Our brain sits in the skull, it continues as the spinal cord. Off of the spinal cord comes nerves. Brain controls everything, constantly communicates with our body. If the, especially the neck is out of position, it gets called a subluxation. It changes the messages that the brain sends the body. Now what's very common is if you've ever experienced a headache that you have misalignment between here and here. The cervical spine is responsible for a large percentage of headaches. What ends up happening, this top bone is called the atlas. And believe it or not, the atlas has a connection to, from a ligament to the spinal cord called the dentate ligament. If this bone's out of position, it can cause a headache. So you're, you may or may not believe this, but we see this every single day in our office. Someone starts chiropractic care and their headaches go away. I see it every single day. And they I, actually go away. They do go away. I, and this is a daily phenomenon. They'll have somebody in the office, when they originally came in, they, one of their main goals was, I have headaches. And by getting an adjustment to the neck, it allows the brain to send the right messages to the body where it was supposed to, and the result is not having a headache. Now, does that mean you'll never, ever have a headache ever again? No. But when I have a conversation with some people, they'll say, well, you know what, I have about two to three headaches a week. Okay, so you are smart people because you're watching this program. If someone has two headaches a week and there's 52 weeks in a year, that's a lot of headaches. It's over 100 headaches. So if you're living a third of the year with headaches, that's not a way to live. I have some people that come in that are so miserable with headaches that their parents hate talking to them, their spouse hates talking to them, their kids know that they're crabby and whiny because they have a headache. So if that's you, you really need to give us a call because I know that we can help you. I was recently doing an event and there was a young girl there and she was talking to me about having headaches just about every day and I said, oh, I, you really need to come and see us because I know that chiropractic can make a world of difference. So if you're a headache sufferer or you know someone that suffers with headaches, you really want to have them be checked by a chiropractor because it makes all the difference in the world. Now, one of the really cool aspects of headaches, and I'm going to boast a little bit about Dr. Kaysen. Dr. Kaysen is the author of a peer-reviewed scientific journal on a case study with a young girl uh, that was having headaches so bad that she was missing a large amount of school. And by starting chiropractic care, her headaches went away. She was able to return, to return to school and have a normal life. So there's so many different factors when it comes to headaches. But the number one thing is have to be checked in your neck for a subluxation, which changes the messages from the brain to the rest of your body, which is in expressing your body's full potential. There was research that just came out in the last year. When someone gets an adjustment, it changes the way their brain communicates with their body by 50%. So if you've ever been in our office and someone gets an adjustment and we say your power's on, you literally just gain 50% more brain capacity than what you had before the adjustment. So it's super important when it comes to chiropractic care and headaches. Dr. Kaysen, what kind of information you got for us when it comes to headaches? As you're talking, I'm thinking about all of the stories that I hear every day in our office of 
women coming into our office, kids coming into our office, men coming into our office, and they all are are um, going through the same thing and they're frustrated with their headaches, their migraines. It could be after an injury. We see a lot of kids with sports, whether it is dancing, horseback riding, soccer. Recently, I had a dancer in the office and she's having a lot of different challenges in her body. We had someone in, in living uh, right here in Ohio, Cedar Point, we had someone coming into our office and after she went on a roller coaster, she subluxated and misalign the top vertebra like Dr. Anthony was talking about and right here those nerves go right to your brain stem. She thought it was food poisoning and her mom thought it was food poisoning and she was in the hospital for over a week with nausea, vomiting, lots of different things and from her first adjustment after she came in we assessed her. Her first adjustment her headache went away and that's from going on a roller coaster. So right now what I want you to think about is think about the layers of life thoughts, traumas, toxins, hormones. Do you get a headache during your menstrual cycle? Are you going through menopause? Are you sensitive to bright lights, odors? All these things tell us a lot of different things of what's going on inside your body. And I know with working with a lot of families and kids, we see a lot of different things with food in our office as far as food sensitivities and other assessments that we can do. Our goal is to get to the root cause of what's causing it because headaches are not normal. Having a headache two times a week, that's not normal. And we want you to be happy and healthy and be able to fully express yourself and to be present with what you're doing, whether it's working with your family, your kids, your community, so that you can have a clear mind. What do you think, Dr. V? I think what's going on right now is that we are here to let you know that yes, we have helped many people with headaches like Dr. Anthony and Kaysen just said. I want you to know that we can make it fun and easy. It really is not hard to do. We just want you to work with us and we'll work with you. And the good news is, is that over time, we really take the time to ask you the right questions to get to the root cause of what's going on. So I have in my hand right now happens to be a shower dechlorinator. So I'd have to believe that most of you took a shower the last 24 to 48 hours. But when you're taking the shower, you are breathing in chlorine gas because you're in a four by five gas chamber. Well, chlorine takes iodine out of the body. When you don't have enough iodine, your thyroid gland is going to be subpar function. Some of the common body signals for subpar thyroid function is cold hands, cold feet, wide spaced teeth, constipation, high cholesterol, and waking up with a morning headache. I will say that again waking up with a morning headache. And the reason that's such an issue is the fact that your thyroid gland is literally the gas pedal inside of your body. So if it's subpar, that's a morning headache that's due to blood sugar issues. I have on the stand right here a product that we use called Iodozyme. Iodozyme is iodine. I take one of those every day of my life. Now, you just don't want to start taking iodine on your own because iodine is antagonized by bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. That's why in our practice we sell a toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride in it. So if you're sitting in the adjusting area right now, you may consider getting a tube of this toothpaste because this is not going to create dental issues and hormonal issues. So iodine helps improve thyroid function. We actually do a test called the urine iodine loading test. And it's just a way for us to tell you exactly how much iodine your body needs. And simply put, you could also do a test called uh, a thyroid panel. And we look at your T4, that's TOM4. It should be at the midline number of eight. If it's less than eight, you have subpar thyroid function. So iodine helps us determine, or the levels of iodine will help us determine what you might need to help prevent a headache. Remember, cold hands, cold feet, white spaced teeth, coarse hair, and waking up with a morning headache and even having constipation, body signal, subpar thyroid. Dr. Anthony. So what I'm holding here is an empty medication bottle. A lot of times when I have conversations with people when it comes to headaches, they could be taking such a super powerful drug that it's about $150 a pill for something that's supposed to take care of their headaches. After having conversations with these individuals, they'll tell me, you know, I'm like a zombie after I take that pill, but I took it away briefly and momentarily. Well, it's because it's not getting to the root 
of the challenge. That's what chiropractic is all about. It's getting to the root of what goes on, spinal misalignment or other challenges that takes place in someone's body. Now, this is a dog chew toy. It's tension that takes place in someone's body. Now, this is a great way. This is tension. Do you ever feel like someone's got one of these clamps on your head and they're screwing it so tight and your head feels like it's going to explode and you ask your spouse or your loved one, just take my head off because it's either pounding or it's splitting. It's unbearable because that's what's going on inside my head right now. If that's you or someone you know, they really need to come and contact us because the medical community, they really work on just covering up headaches and not getting to the source of headaches. It's so often that tension headaches rob minerals and nutrients from your body. There's a great product, it's called Bioglycozyme Forte. This is a multiple vitamin designed to help people that have stress and sugar challenges. Uh, it's really, really important and a great idea in order to utilize this. I've seen many people change their cravings for sugar. I've also seen their stress levels go down on top of what we're able to do with them chiropractically in the office. So. One of the things that I encourage you is you know somebody that has headaches and their shoulders are to their ears because they're so stressed, you want to breathe and take some deep breaths. When you take deep breaths, that activates a part of your nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. It's the part of your nervous system that allows you to rest and digest. So when someone gets an adjustment in the office, it also activates their rest and digest part of their nervous system so their body can work at 100%. Now, I would encourage you to rewatch this program. You can go to our YouTube channel, Drugless DRS, uh, and, and share it with your friends and family that could be suffering from headaches. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform. It's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise, we do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature, we're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition, go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments 
that can tell us what supplement is going to be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The Dropless Doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media, our website, our blog. We do TV programs. So we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that. Or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day, that's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people in their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria. I'd like to welcome you once again to a continuation of another episode of The Drugless Doctor. Well, we've been enjoying giving you some information on headaches, and headaches are so severe. I know that back in the 1970s, I had a practice member that came in. This is a true story. All my stories are true. Sometimes it's hard to believe this, that uh, she would have a headache so bad she would miss three days of work every month. And she is still in my, a part of my practice. This is well over almost 40 years now. And what was causing her headache was soda. So we adjusted her spine, took her off the soda, which is kind of interesting. She referred her sister to me. And her sister used to get migraine headaches also. Her sister was addicted to those little um, sugary Indian corns that they usually have at Halloween time. But what I want to talk to you about right now and we talk about this in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones, which I have the cover on the screen for you, and you'd be really wise to obtain this book, is the fact that women can have menstrual-related headaches. This is an oil filter in the human body. The oil filter is your liver. So if you happen to be a female right now and you have tender breasts and heavy menses more towards the end of your 28-day cycle and you have a headache, and then the headache mysteriously tends to go away, it's probably because your liver does not have the capacity to process the estrogen. And I want you to also know this, that there are 45,000 cases of breast cancer that ladies die of every year, and the leading cause of breast cancer happens to be too much estrogen. So the liver is the key. If you've had two or more babies, your liver is probably compromised. If you have a passion for fruit, especially pineapple and bananas, and I know I just had some conversation with a lady yesterday like, Dr. Bob, I have to have a banana because of potassium. So I want you to know the alternative, the best alternative for a banana is the avocado. Avocado has more potassium than a banana, has fiber, has something for your brain called carnitine, and also has good oil in it, which is a monounsaturated fat. So ladies, if you get a headache with your menses, it's estrogen. One last thought about these menstrual-related headaches. We talk about this in chapter 10 of Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. Let's say you have a headache one month, the next month no headache, and the next month you have a headache and it confuses you. And of course it's gonna confuse your Western trained medical doctor because they don't, aren't trained to think, is the fact that you could have an ovarian issue. It's called middle schmerz when you have pain upon ovulation. Well, what I have learned, if you have misalignment in your spine, if that ovary is not working that month, it cannot produce enough progesterone to balance the estrogen. And your ovaries need iodine. Now, I know that I just do a lot of information, and I don't want your head to be swimming. It's pretty basic. Liver is important. Ovaries are important. If you have a headache every other month, you have tender breasts and heavy menses, I don't care where you're at anywhere in the world, you need to come to see us because we're going to sit down, we're going to listen to you, we're going to talk to you, and we're going to assess you, and we're going to get rid of those Headaches. You know, Dr. Anthony, in case I never told you this, but when I was first in practice, I had a lady headache so bad that the doctors, like, can you imagine this? They cut a nerve in her neck, and then when she would eat, her arm would sweat. Can you imagine the kind of archaic 
surgeries that they have done in the past and they still do right now. I never told you that story. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? No, when it comes along the lines to headaches, another popular topic nowadays is the topic of concussions, whether it's high schoolers that are playing sports or a mom that's playing rock band and bangs her head too hard. <laughs> We've seen it all. Um, true story. Yeah, concussions are serious because what ends up happening is the brain is literally rattling around in your skull. It can cause headaches. It can cause confusion. It can cause sleepiness and tiredness. One of the best things for someone that has a concussion is chiropractic care because a concussion it affects the nervous system and what you really want to do is be assessed by a chiropractor make an adjustment and allow the brain to send the right messages to the body now some nutrients that someone might consider if they've had a concussion is coconut oil you could also do fish oil which is bio omega-3 you could do something called cytosine b all of those are nutrients that you may consider if you've ever had a concussion so if you know somebody that's had one, I just had a lady that was in the office last week. Her bookshelf fell on her neck and it could, it could have potentially caused a concussion-like syndrome. Also, people that have been in car accidents and have had whiplash injuries, they could also develop concussions. Now, I know a hot topic right now is the NFL and, and head trauma. So anytime you have any type of head trauma, it's super, super important to be checked by a chiropractor for subluxation, misalignment of the spine, get an adjustment, make sure that the brain's sending the right messages to the body. I just had another gentleman that was in the office this week. He's a, he's a teenager. He was in a sports injury in gym class and he had to miss school for a week, which is the standard protocol right now. We started working with him and the, after his first adjustment, after the concussion, his tiredness, sleepiness, sluggishness, neck discomfort, all went away because the right messages got sent from the from his brain to the rest of his body. So concussions are just as important when we're talking about headaches. Dr. Kaysen, what do you got for us? So there are so many different variabilities when it comes to headaches. What, what time of the day do you have a headache? What causes the headache? When does it happen? And to go back to the basics of everything, you want to make sure your brain is sending all those messages. Also, as Dr. Anthony was sharing, the bio omega-3 oils are really important for the brain and the nervous system think of the the nerves they are bathing in that healthy oil and you want to make sure that you are taking some kind of oil whether it is the bio omega-3 that we have in our office we also have flax oil we have something called optimal efas which is the three six and nine just like changing the oil in your car you want to be continually changing that oil in your body to make sure that you're having those healthy messages and you're taking away inflammation in the body another thing that we use in our office and this is a spark plug you want to make sure you have the correct minerals in your body those minerals drive every single cell in your body and counterculture to what some people may say about salt, your body needs salt. And I'm not talking about the kosher table salt that you have on your table or that's in your shaker right now. We are talking about unrefined salt and unrefined means that this salt was not changed or manipulated. It wasn't bleached. It has all those natural properties of the ocean in it. We use a product in our office by Selena Naturally and it's the Celtic sea salt. We've seen tremendous health results from that. And by incorporating Celtic sea salt into your life, we sprinkle it on breakfast, lunch, dinner. You could even put it in 24 ounces of water. Think of this, that, that it's minerals in the body, natural electrolytes that your body needs. We've seen a lot of people that they've been dehydrated, not have the proper minerals in their body, and no oil in their body, and that has been the solution to get rid of their headaches as well as those chiropractic adjustments. That will make a huge difference for you. What else do you have, Dr. B? Well, I really think what's so fascinating is the fact that most of the people that do come to see us have misalignment in their spine, and that is putting pressure on sensitive nerves, causing the most common headache, which happens.